Basel. Akala ko, chef ka. Kasi nakikita ko yung malalaking nilulun. Maybe you have a Syrian girlfriend. I do. You do? No, I'm asking. <laughs> Basil says he does. No, you're not. We're from Syria, it's your family. Yeah, you look a bit like your dad. Right? More like my mom. Oh, more like your mom? I don't know how to, I know. <laughs> We're just happy it's not gone. Oh. Good morning, mga tao. I hope you all having a wonderful day and wonderful time ahead of you. And you are so masaya, mga tao. We're going to meet, I know, your idol, <laughs> Doc Willie. He's a very good doctor. He's always giving advices to the mga tao, de ba? We're on the way now. Filipino time as usual because of Annie. <laughs> but we're gonna make it on time, sana. So we said we're gonna be there too, but it's already. So my colon is hurting mga tao, Doc Willie will see my colon. I'll show him my result kasi sobra sakit yung chunk ko. Hindi ko alam ano nangyari. I just had check up and I came here to Doc Willie to check on me. Para ano, alam ko yung sakit ko. <laughs> Thank you, Thank you. Finally. Thank you. <laughs> you are here. Yeah, I'm with my helper. I mean, my fiance. First fiance? Yeah, I'm lost. First and last. What is it? Do you, do you show her in your video? I don't show her because she's always behind the camera. Many people want to see her. Everybody wants to see her. Why not show her? She's not comfortable with me. I open the street before they stop me. Uh, picture, picture. It's not easy, right? Yes. So, Basel is a Christian warrior. Very good. Wonder. Uh, there's a Greek Syrian wanderer. <laughs> no, there are lots of warriors in YouTube, right? Yeah, Long really, and he's doing very great job in helping many people. Yeah, no, no, I really want to meet you. Uh, my, my nephew is talking about you. They say, what's But I like all your videos of the way you're helping. Up until now, your videos are so informative because it helps a lot of people in just normal, you know, daily life. Yes, I am. You can help everybody. They're very grateful. But there comes a time when you help others, even if you give 500,000 for operation. Yeah, in the end, in the end, in my experience, uh, many are still not happy. Yeah, they do something like masama. Whether they appreciate it or not, for me, that's okay. Yeah. Because it's always not enough. Yeah. And I, know, think, I think that's the reason why some donors don't want to donate. Mm -hmm. Because initially they're happy, but in the end, parang they feel parang there's no end to this. Yeah. Have, have you experienced that? I haven't experienced that, but when I experienced helping someone and that someone stabbed me in the back, yeah, I did. Mm -hmm. And I felt really hurt and it was it was really you know, like such a, I was like for a few weeks, I was not feeling well. No matter how good you are, no matter how good you do, no, no matter, matter how good your intention. Yeah, you still have people who will yes. try to, I don't know, <laughs> to try to talk bad about you, to try to destroy you. So I think we just have to learn how to deal with it. That's it. Because we know ourselves, we're, me, I know myself, I'm doing my best to, uh, yeah. to help people, to inspire others, to, yeah. I, I like the way you gave birthday cakes to your kasambahay. Uh -oh. like you gave them prizes, you know. Yeah. Everybody was saying, we want to be in your, uh, we want to apply to you, Basel. Yeah. <laughs> How do you deal with the thousands of comments asking for help? Which is also my experience. For example, I scroll one time, I read comment, then I will reply to that comment, but I don't get to read each and every one. Let's say thousands of people asking for help, but I cannot help thousands of people. My intention is to extend my help to as many people as I can. But like what I said again, I'm just a human. <laughs> I'm not Superman, so I can only uh, reach the people who are around me. Reach the people that who usually... Who knows you could be Superman one day? <laughs> Maybe. Give it a chance. If they get me in the movie. <laughs> so like the people I help usually either referred by someone so they keep on messaging or sending medical I don't know medical like papers this my mom needs this my 
ano, needs this for a friend or my employee. I'm not sure if they're bumatutunga kayo sa topic namin, pero yung pagtulong talaga, marami. Sometimes you use your own money, you're happy, you, you, you get views, yeah. uh, you can use that to help more people. But sometimes that's not enough, you're thinking, oh, inisip ko, why not get, you know, from companies, sponsors, but it's not that easy. I don't have sponsors. Actually, I, I don't have sponsors. To let you know, I don't have. But why, 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 why not? I mean, use the money from sponsors to help more people. I don't only do YouTube. YouTube is just, I don't know, it's just like something that I do. Yeah. Right? What, what, what's your main, main business? Real estate? Yeah. My story, Doc really is so strange because. I, I, I came, came from, from Syria. You came from Syria, right? Yeah, I came from a very well-off family. In My dad was what, a what year was this? This is year 2013. He works for the government. He's an engineer. Okay. My then, my parents, my my brother is a physician in France. He's a doctor oh. in France. So we had a very good life and suddenly we got bombed. <laughs> By the, I know, the bad, there is a conflict there. Yeah. So our house got bombed, our cars got burned, our, so we had to flee the country. That's why my dad now is in France and here. So you can't go back to here? I can. All my friends, they left for Europe, for Sweden. Do you, do you have another option to go to another country? Of course. Why choose the Philippines? That's what I was going to tell you. Maybe we have to ask her, but... <laughs> <laughs> so, like what I said, all my friends, they flee to Sweden, France. My family, they are in France. Okay. They offered me to go there and have a job. And, but okay. I love the Philippines. That's why I said... What do you love about the Philippines? Well, what you love about the Philippines first, the people. Because the, yes, okay. Filipino people, they're more simple. Let's ask Basel. Any negative traits? About, about the Philippines. Filipino time. <laughs> yeah, but what nothing, nothing, nothing what like. Chismis. Chismos, chismosa, meron. Oh, meron. Chismis. 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 That's it's the girlfriend like of mine. Looks like Maui boy. It's like this. You, you cut this. Uh, this uh, yeah, but not recently. Not for a while. That's a little. He doesn't scratch your sofa. <laughs> 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 My boys, they destroyed like all my furniture before. That's why I have to get new set of furniture. We have several hospitals. You know, we got free RT PCR tests. We have the lowest COVID rates here. So. Anyway, I don't read negative comments, you know, parang I don't have any time. I just have... My motto is, the east, the east, the east. What does it mean? Just bear it, just bear it, just bear it. No complaints on that. I just say thank you. No problem. Now I have a new word. <laughs> yeah, Jeez. I just... Kung, kung may negative comment, but wala. Kung, kung, kung whoever person, please talk in lang po. Uh, maraming salamat, pasensya na. That's why I was telling you, when you keep on helping and helping more, sometimes they get angry, angry, angrier. But at least in our hearts, we know we did the right thing. So, all the negative comments, I don't feel it. Actually, I don't feel it for the people that say negative comments. You know what? I really love them. At least I'm happy because I met a master who got inspired to me. Actually, I, I lost your email like few months ago. I was oh, trying to oh, find yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know your name. So, I have another concern yes. to ask you. <laughs> yes. A few days ago, I had colonoscopy. Oh, okay. And, yeah, and they inserted also camera to my stomach. Is this the one? This is the result, the reading of the doctor. They gave you antibiotics. They gave you antibiotics. So, they said the colon. They said the colon is very difficult. The one for ulcer. It's called ulcer. And you have an ulcer. Process of ulcer are. It could be the H. pylori. It could be stress. You're not eating well. It could be spicy food. I used to eat a lot of spicy food. 
mainly spicy food. We're just happy it's not gun. Oh. Yun lang naman ang problem. Yeah. Who is this guy? No, that's my dad. That's <laughs> oh, your dad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Every 15 minutes, ha, papa inumin mo siya. If your stomach is always empty, it's grinding and grinding. There's acid. It hurts. Normally, if you take too much, like orange, uh, acid, sinigang. <laughs> sinigang with rice is okay. Okay naman. The rice, I'm eating the brown rice. Brown rice uh, in moderation. Because if you eat too much brown rice, you'll get there. I'm eating the brown rice, like mountainous. Then start to eat the garlic. Yes, thank you. I'll try my best. Okay, what, what, an, ano ang tanong? Of course, of course. Ay, lang po. No, kasi ako, try. Ah, sige. Ito ang maganda ang ugali ni... Oh, but that's okay. Yes, they have a sticker, right? Anong maganda ang ugali niya na nagustuhan niya? Lahat. Oh. Specifically. Specifically. Suka. Asukal! Asukal! Malambing! Malambing! Asukal! I will give you an F! Asukal! That's sugar! Maybe you have a Syrian girlfriend. You do? No, I'm asking! Basil said he does! No, I'm asking! That's the question! You have to repeat, you have to remind me! I do! We're from Syria, Syria family. From Hong City. I came here, I was only 18, 19 years old. So I didn't see my family for 10 years. The off camera, I'm sure people go to you. Uh, I have a lot of employees who work for me. I have over 40 employees as of now. So yeah. I give people jobs, I hire people with no education required as long as they are good. I trust in them, I believe in them, I hire they work right away. So this is the the least things that I did aside from going out, you know. Even during the ash falls, I was in Tagaytay during the the Taan volcano, during the earthquake. Even if I cannot go physically there. So I contact somebody who's there and uh, just send them something. I will tell you the secret of the success of your page. It's your heart. It's that thing coming from your look, uh, from your eyes. Uh, it's in the eyes. <laughs> and it's like a lie detector test. Uh -oh. Because there are many people helping and they follow you. Even yeah. if you don't explain, they say, I like pastel, I like pastel, that's it. So, Correct. So what you what you do will always come back to you. Okay. If you do good, it will come back to you. But if you also do bad, it will also come back to you. So this is what I grew up on believing. Then, yeah, that's why even though back then, since I was just a student, I was also helping some people. Even though I'm just studying, I was just a student. Because when I arrived here, I'm 18, 19 years old. Imagine I got separated from my family, right? I was in the uh, aeroplane, I don't even know where I'm going. It was very difficult the first six months. Very, very I was crying every day, uh, missing my family. How did you get money? So, uh, yeah, my family were the one. So, so uh, they, they sent me money. Yeah. He's the, your sponsor. Since before What's he sponsored me for my mission, it's also helps me sometimes when there's, like, I have a project to do, he sends me money. He helps me. Even though I have my own business now, I run my own business, he's still part of my insurance, my services, and me being able to that more. Akala ko ang trabaho mo, Chef. Ay, trabaho ko. Oo, ang trabaho mo, Chef. Ang 
chef. Oo. Oh, oh. Kasi nakikita ko talaga tulong pa doon sa mga malalaking kawa. Oh yes, yes. Tama. So, oh. yung luto ko dati sa Manote Kawa. Oh, malaki. Oh, ito yung feeding pro- program that we do. Ah, so, okay. ako luto. Meron yung kawa. Like, tayo ano. Sobrang yan. laki. Oo, oh, sobrang laki siya. Tapos luto. Pag Christmas, pag ano, tapos bigay sa iba-iba tao. So, ang, ang kinaral mo, oh, oh. mo dito sa Philippines na college, hindi chef. Hindi. Ano ang course mo? Oh. Ayong course ko, computer engineer ko. Oh. Oh. So, engineer ako, pero hindi ko gawin yung diploma. Lagay sa cabinet lang, tapos sarado pinto ko. trabaho mo ngayon? Ngayon, I'm a business man and yeah, I do uh, real estate, I do restaurants, I do uh, supermarket. So, you in the morning, yeah, you see me in the morning, you might see me carrying boxes like what? In the afternoon, you might see me filming and helping people. In the night, you might see me doing cashier. That's why people. Even get shocked because sometimes when they visit one of my shops and I'm there, it's like, oh, Basil is here or what? Like, really? You see me? I mean, I like to live simple. I like to be. Uh, that's why I'm reachable. Even I know normal people they see me in the street. I'm a reachable. I like, just like hanging out with everybody. I think that's the best way. Nadidiko, pero restaurant. Okay. I don't know sa restaurant? So, sa saan ito? Sa Las Piñas po. <laughs> Luto burgers, fish and chips, kasi American diner. Ah. So wala tayo chicken adobo, wala <laughs> pa si Gato. <laughs> so, chicken uh, American diner, so okay. hot dog, and hot dog, ketchup and mustard yeah. with pickles. Yes. Sarap naman ako. Oo, oh, dapat ano, we should And visit it. Sure, <laughs> we should visit us there. Yes. Then, oh, kahit tayo doon na. Ito tayo din sa... Ito pala kumain. Sa mga natutahan mo, maraming lugar. Ano ang para sa iyo pinakamaganda sa Pilipinas? Ifugao, you said. <laughs> Ifugao and Talawan. Kasi Ifugao, people are very... Dahil para simple, no wifi, and uh, no... Like, for us to get a connection, we used to go to downtown. Just to call the time of day, you know. Because there's really no communication, aside from if you're gonna call, if there's signal or not. But we're listed in an impact lifestyle, yeah? There's no... Any sort of uh, then you see the rice terraces, so the then the rice. So, pang relax, walang stress. Uh oh. I was trying to show the people how beautiful the Philippines is. That was my content. I was traveling everywhere to document the places I go to. Some people ask me, like when I met Tony Gonzalez, she asked me, Why did you choose to go to Filipino? I said, I didn't really choose. To. I mean, it was something. An intention. I didn't intend to become a Intentionally, without even a goal, I became one because I live here, I eat here, right? I breathe here. So, my even my attitude became like a Filipino. That's why if my dad would come now after 10 years, he might get shot. <laughs> because I'm not Syrian anymore. <laughs> so, I became like really, I adopted to that lifestyle here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she said you're her idol. Oh, that's why. <laughs> this is Annie. She's having consultation. <laughs> consultation break. Catherine. Catherine? Yes. Yeah, you look a bit like your dad. Right? More like my mom. Oh, more like your mom? I don't know how to, I know. <laughs> I have a cat. Oh, you have a cat? Can I see it? I love cats. I can bring a cat. Uh oh. I have three cats. Three boys. That's why I always say I love dog shop. They're always a lot smarter. Like they're not picky with their food, they're just very sweet. So he has a friend. When I got him, they told me he's medium one. 